Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about the effects of acupuncture and acupressure on pain relief during labor. Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Decker and I'm a nurse with my PhD and the founder of Evidence Based Birth. I've been asked to create a video all about the effects of acupuncture and acupressure on pain management during labor. Acupuncture has been used for at least 2,000 years in Asia, including China, Korea, and Japan. It is a major part of traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, which believes that good health is maintained by a balance of energy in the body. In TCM, acupuncture is a complex intervention, including needling skills, a close patient provider relationship, lifestyle advice, massage, and the use of herbs. With acupuncture, very fine needles are inserted to different parts of the body and manipulated to correct energy imbalance. In electroacupuncture, needles are connected to wires that deliver low or high frequencies of electrical current. Acupressure is based on the same theory as acupuncture, but instead of using needles, acupressure is delivered in a non-invasive way using fingers, thumbs, knuckles, or other tools to put firm pressure on different areas of the body. Sometimes only a few areas need that firm pressure in order to induce a sense of relaxation or pain relief. Unlike acupuncture, which must be delivered by a licensed provider, acupressure could be used by anyone, such as a midwife in an in or out of hospital setting. Researchers aren't really sure how acupuncture and acupressure might work to relieve pain. It might change how you perceive pain, and most acupuncture and acupressure points are near the pathways of the nervous system, so it might be that they're stimulating the nervous system. Another theory is that acupuncture and acupressure work by leading the body to produce endorphins, which are natural pain-relieving hormones. Acupuncture and acupressure are also known as part of complementary medicine, or CM. Studies have shown that the use of CM has risen worldwide with about half of all women of reproductive age using CM techniques. So what's the evidence on using acupuncture or acupressure for pain relief during labor? Well, researchers carried out a Cochrane review in 2011 where they combined 13 randomized controlled trials with a total of more than 2,000 participants. Nine of the trials looked at acupuncture and four of them looked at acupressure. Participants were randomly assigned to either receive acupuncture or acupressure or to be in a group that did not receive acupuncture or acupressure. The groups that did not receive acupuncture or acupressure might have received a variety of other things such as sham or fake acupuncture or acupressure, sterile water injections, medications, or nothing. In most of the studies, the mothers that were in the study were in spontaneous labor at term. The researchers found that people who were assigned to acupuncture or acupressure reported less intense pain. Compared to people who received a placebo, which was the fake acupuncture treatment, people who received real acupuncture treatment during labor had shorter labors on average, higher levels of satisfaction, and less use of medication. Acupressure was linked with less intense pain, fewer cesareans, shorter labors, and less anxiety than people who received fake or sham acupressure. There have been three more randomized control trials that have come out since the 2011 Cochrane Review. In 2015, researchers studied the effects of electroacupuncture on pain during labor. They found that patients who received electroacupuncture did have lower pain scores at 30, 60, and 120 minutes compared to people who did not receive any treatment. In another study published in 2015, they compared electroacupuncture to IV opioids, epidurals, and no treatment. So you could be randomly assigned to one of those four groups. The people assigned to epidurals had the lowest levels of pain, but the longest second stage labors. The epidural group also had side effects such as maternal itching, difficulty urinating, and newborn breathing problems. 
The IV opioids group had side effects such as maternal nausea and vomiting and newborn breathing problems. The researchers concluded that electroacupuncture relieves pain better than no treatment and has fewer side effects than medication. In another randomized control trial, mothers were randomly assigned to either receive manual and electroacupuncture, just manual acupuncture, or standard care. Everyone is free to use additional pain relief as they desired. People in the combined manual and electroacupuncture groups and the manual acupuncture groups were less likely to use an epidural than the people who were in the standard care group. There have also been four recent randomized controlled trials on using acupressure during labor. All four studies found that people randomly assigned to receive acupressure during labor experience lower pain scores, and some of them who looked at the length of labor also found shorter labors. Some of the common acupressure points that were used in these studies include L4 is on the back of the hand and SP6, which is on the legs. Acupressure was typically provided during a contraction. In conclusion, there is a need for more high quality research on acupuncture and acupressure for pain relief during labor. However, placebo controlled trials have found that both acupuncture and acupressure are helpful for decreasing pain during labor. Studies have found other potential benefits as well, including higher levels of maternal satisfaction, lower use of pain medication, shorter labors, and less anxiety. All seven of the randomized control trials that have come out in the last few years have found benefits of acupressure or acupuncture. The main downside of acupressure or acupuncture is that it's not as an effective method of pain relief as say an epidural. In one study, about half of the people assigned to acupuncture still asked for an epidural, indicating that in that group, about half of the women did not find it satisfactory enough to just use acupuncture. However, the evidence shows that acupuncture or acupressure may be good options for people who want to avoid pain medications or who are unable to receive pain medications during labor. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks and bye. To learn more and subscribe to our newsletters for useful information, please visit evidencebasedbirth.com.